the the Nano S was designed eight nine years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, so now it's a pretty old device using old technology, especially the secure element itself. The secure element itself has probably lost its certification. Mm -hmm. uh, I was mentioning five years for a certification uh, because of the uh, the lifetime of a certification. What and does that mean? Because like, we don't want to scare people off either. Like even if it loses certification, it doesn't mean that the device is insecure, right? No, no, it doesn't mean this. Um, yeah. Certification are a standard framework yeah. for assessing security and so on. And it's required mandatory when you want to address uh, the banking or the identity market. Mm -hmm. So that means that uh, today, uh, this security element cannot be used for uh, banking application or identity application yeah. because it lost its certification. But it's not like a milk's expiry date that if you drink it and you're <laughs> after after two weeks in your fridge, you're going to die. <laughs> No, no, this is this this is not something like this. But you can lose uh, your certification because uh, the lifetime of the certificate expires, or because huge vulnerability has been found, and and so on. The case of the the secure element used by the Nano S, uh, it's just the lifetime of the certification that okay. is uh, that is finished. To my knowledge, there is no known critical uh, attacks on 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 this uh, secure element. Okay. However, on top of the certification, uh, there is also the fact that the technology uh, used to create the secure element is, is quite old now, and, and there are plenty of uh, limitation. Uh, limitation in terms of um, flash. The flash is very small. I think it's 300K uh, for people. Uh, it's the, the size of a very small image. This is, the, this is what you can store uh, mm -hmm. in the flash. Uh, for the RAM itself, uh, it's only 15K. Uh, so if you are a developer, uh, think of uh, having 15 uh, kilobytes of memory. That means that you cannot f fit a lot of things in the stack. Mm -hmm. So that means that you cannot uh, call a lot of functions. Um, I won't go into the, the details, but just to say that the technology of this secure element is very old and very limited. Uh, limited. So when you want to uh, to build um, complex, complex. When you want to build uh, like impl application, it's uh, it's very difficult and even more, uh, even even sometimes not uh, possible at all. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the one of the limitations you have in the Nano S. So that's why we created the S Plus, um, which in terms of uh, secure element capability, uh, it's uh, it's uh, easier. So you have more more flash more uh, RAM, the, the CPU is, uh, is, uh, is faster, uh, and so on, more security also. Uh, but you still have limitation uh, in terms of screen. Mm -hmm. So that's why we then uh, created uh, Flex and Stacks. I don't talk about uh, the Nano X, but the Nano X is a variation of uh, those with the Bluetooth. Um, and then that's why we created the Flex and Stacks. And, and the idea is uh, to have a wider screen. Uh, because as I mentioned, uh, the threats that we had uh, in 2017 uh, are not the same that the, the threats that we have uh, today. Now we really need to understand what kind of, what kind of transaction uh, you are about to, to do. Uh, I, I'm about to uh, swap on Uniswap. I'm about to lend some um, um, staked ETH on Aave. I need to to understand that this is the, the the my intent. I need to I need to have a, a strong link between my intent and what will be executed on chain. And creating this link is not that easy because you need some understanding of what's going on in the in the smart contract, and you need some um, you need to to create the transaction itself. You need to send this transaction to the device, and the, the device must understand, must be able to decode the transaction. So from your intent and what will be executed, there are different steps and, and creating this uh, link with um, like security guarantee uh, is not easy, but when you uh, are able to create this link, you need to display it to the user. And that's when you need a, a wider screen to, mm -hmm. to, to explain you are about uh, to swap uh, 0 0.1 uh, STS uh, to whatever to token. So it's everything we discussed related to like clear signing exactly. and, and the visibility. So creating the clear signing framework is important, mm -hmm. but uh, being able to display it in a user-friendly manner is even more important.